Okay, I wanted to make a little bit more in-depth video uh, for the uh, new uh, Bofang VFH6 and just chirp in general, okay? So, we're going to go ahead in here and download from the radio. And this particular radio is under the TID radio TDH6. And uh, we're going to read the contents of the radio. And then um, with your internet connected to your laptop or your computer, I would be able to go in and query a repeater book. And I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks to quickly and easily populate a bunch of repeaters in here. So we need to take note of where we're already at on here. We uh, are using 22 channels. Okay, let's go into the radio tab here. And we're going to go import from data source, slide on over to repeater book. Now if we go political query, we pull this up, it will allow us to pick it by the county that we want. Uh, so I'm in Arizona, so I have all these different counties I can pick, which is quite nice. Uh, and then you can go here and change your state, you know, whatever you want to do, your band, lots of different bands available. So um, we're going to hit cancel because we don't want to do that. We're going to go by uh, particularly just the band. So import from data source, slide over to repeater book, go to proximity. And so basically I'm going to use my zip code and 100 miles on 70 centimeters. Click OK and it will pull up the list. Now you will see these blank channels in here. If you do this like this, you will end up with 8, 9, 10, and 11 uh, blank in there. So go ahead and click auto over here and it should remove those. Now, you're starting at number zero, so you need to go here and add plus 10, which changes it to 10. Hit it again, changes it to 20. Okay, and we need to go a couple more. So we got 23. That way when we add this here, we're not overwriting any of our previous channels. So, now we can go over here and click OK. And it will add this all right here. Let me scroll through here. So now we just go up over here to the radio and upload the radio. Okay. Real simple. So that's the best way to do this. This is why Chirp is absolutely amazing and brilliant. Because otherwise you would have the software that comes with this radio, if it even works. Um, you'd have to manually enter all these. You'd have to look them up. And um, there really isn't always an easy way to drag the files. So the CBS files or whatever they use. So... It is done. Um, now, there's some settings in here that you need to enable if you want it to display the name or the frequency. Uh, so that's it for programming this. There's a lot of other things that you can do. Um, there's lots of other settings. You go into the settings tab here. I was looking for um, to try and see if I could turn up the mic gain on this. I don't see it here in this particular one. Um, so, yeah, these settings are in here. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.